Hi, and welcome to Robert's Country Cooking tonight. I want to make a dip. This is going to be a guacamole dip. Although I'm not going to be putting a tomato and onion in it, and I need to do that. This is kind of like my own version. I just don't have no tomato and onion tonight. Um, but this is just as good without tomato and onion. Me and Douglas, we eat it like this. York to try it's really good. Um, this has got all the spice in it, really. Uh, by some fresh success, fresh success by Concord. And it's like a mild guacamole season mix. And I have like a sauce of mine that I make. And I have like three avocados, lime juice, titan, salt and pepper. And, uh, if you got things at home that you think that you might want to fill in there seasoning-wise and make it taste a little bit better, you can do that as well. But I'm going to get started with my avocados. And I just manhandle, manhandle my avocado when it comes to cutting them. And everything, so here we go. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to get my good big spoon so I can carve it out. And let me, yeah. Okay, so you just start by, that's the way I cut mine. Get you a nice rated knife like this. Me a bread knife. Cut that avocado, cut the avocado. Go call it, call it an avocado. It still got its skin on it, so you can put it on the table. Um, if you got something you can set your trash in, that would be excellent, Robert. So I'm going to, because it does contain seeds, and let's try it. So we'll do this. I'm going to go down into my avocado. This is the part that I hate, kind of, because um, I'm going to squeeze all this out anyhow. I always take the seeds out, but I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to kind of go deep in deep, and roll out like that, see how that dug it out, but the vital nutrition stuff is like the very green, which is this right here, and it's up close against the skin, that's real good, it's, uh, the nutrients for your eyes, which is called lutein, I think if I'm correct. It's really healthy for you to eat that. It lets you see good, improve your vision. Um, I like them because it's like, let's say you ain't got uh, something real quick. I like splitting up an avocado in half, seriously, and just eating it like a snack because it's really fatty. But I'll eat like lime juice. I don't even make uh, guacamole. I'll just eat it with lime juice. And they're good like that. So that's the way I'll do that. Just set your spoon down, go to your next avoca avocado. I still got my stickers on them. I just cut where the stickers are not at. And as you're going, watch your glove and just rotate it. Set your knife back down, hold and turn and open, and sit your right other half down. It's got skin on it, so it's fine. And I'm going to kind of make a chunky avocado today. Is it daytime or nighttime? And when you, uh, it's not, Douglas. You just want to make sure to d dig all of this out real good. I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But, that's what I do. Okay. And we got another seed, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Get you out, fella, and then come over here. Roll it out. So that does tend to get a little too messy, so you can't get all that out. That's fine as well. Set that in there. See, if the little knots come out of the avocado real good, that means that they're really good and ripe. 
Yeah. Usually my, uh, my avocados are starting to get done right. If I haven't eaten some olives in um, 10 gallons of a while ago, I always make sure to get them eight because I don't like them going bad on me. That's a pretty one too. So, you know, because what I'll do is I will literally sit here and eat avocado with like chips for a snack. Still making a big meal. That's what I'm saying. If you don't want to sit and make a big old meal, grab up some avocados. They're good for you. They're healthy for you. And just eat the devil out of them. And throw some lime juice in there. If you ain't got everything to make all that stuff, you know, don't worry about it. Just get uh, throw in there what you've got. Okay, so now that we've got them out. I'm going to pull these out because they're gross feeling. I'll give me just a second. I'm going to put another pair on because we don't need to be handling food with no gloves on. That's not good. For work area, always keep your work area clean. Right, mom. I love my mom. Think of her all the time. I think I'm thanking my mom a lot because it's Mother's Day. I think of her a lot anyway. Um. Let's see. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. But I'm not going to be in a hurry because if I get in a hurry, I'll mess my video up. So you just gonna have to take your time and just wait. Whew, I got out in the garden yesterday and it's like my back is wanting to really hurt me. But I enjoy getting on here cooking and making food for y'all guys. And I hope y'all enjoy it too. I just want to say if anyone hasn't subscribed, please do so. It helps me with YouTube's algorithm. And, um, I would just want to say thank you to all my fans that I have out here for helping me get as far as I have so far. I really appreciate that. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to soften it up a little bit. So we're going to throw this thing over here in the sink. Get over there. And I'm going to, I'm going to say about, for four avocados, I'm going to add... Probably two, three, four teaspoons of lime to make it good and tangy. And I'm not going to tell what the sauce is here. None of this business is a secret. Okay, anyway. Let's move right along. Let's throw that in there. Stuff is really good right here. To be honest, to tell you the truth, I had to make out some of this on cam one day. It is literally, um, mayonnaise has been thinned down very, very good. Whipped real good with whipping cream. Uh, with the avocado in it. A little bit of salt and pepper. Not too, too much. With Duke's mayo. With the avocado in it. It's like an avocado dip for tacos and stuff like that, but it's really good. Okay, we got that in there. Let's put that over there. How you doing? Okay, let's get our pepper on there. This is the taste. Well, you got four avocados, so you want to use the right amount. If you're allergic to pepper, you don't have to use it. Please avoid it. This is Thai gin. I'm addicted to. So I'm going to put a good amount on there. That's about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to go light with the salt. Like that. It's probably a teaspoon. I wouldn't say a teaspoon. Or one third. That's half of a teaspoon. Okay, so we're going to put 
tape thing probably is that. That. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just match these up and try not to let them escape from me because it's what they're going to try and do because they know they're going to get eight. Uh, if you'll look, I did a avocado short and it just went skyrocketing. I did that like at 3 o'clock in the morning and it was really pretty. And so, I'm about to make a chicken sandwich here shortly. But I thought I'd come on and make like a dip. Because I haven't made a dip. Everybody's wanting to see sandwiches. So, let you guys know I'm coming up with egg sandwiches. Deviled, deviled ham. I'm going to bring out some um, tuna sandwich. Uh, tuna. Uh-oh. Trying to get out, I tell you. I'm going to bring out some tuna, tuna sandwiches. Tuna salad. Stuff like that. You'll see. Trust me, it'll be good. If you like the content, I hope that everything everybody's looking at so far, they like the content. A lot of people don't like guacamole, so this is about to be transferred to. Oh God, it's so good looking. Okay, now. Sometimes you don't have to use the whole pack of this because it is really spicy. But if you like spicy stuff, that's all up to you. So I'm going to cut this open. This really good to try. It's like an orange flavor. Flavor. Orange color. Listen to me. Let's see. Let's start with that and then I'll taste it and see what it tastes like. First of all, let me get that. Then here again. Get me a new one. First, I'm gonna get a bow to transfer it, so it's not trying to go all over the place with us. Okay. And my dogs they love guacamole, and believe it or not, chihuahuas. They love my pizza I make. That well, everything I cook is chihuahua approved around here. They are, they love Latino food. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Anything I cook, they like it. They have to have it. Okay, that is just enough for four avocados. So don't think I'll put too much in there, because I haven't. There's still more avocado in this bowl. Mash it up. See, that's why some people don't like it because it's mushy and hacky looking, but I like mine. Ch it's still chunky. I'm going to get this combined and stuff a little bit better, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer this. And but if I'm up late night doing like my editing on YouTube, <laughs> how that goes, guys. I love just to sit and eat guacamole and chips if I've got some around. Or like I was saying a little while ago, just sitting and eating a thing of guac by itself. Cut one half, throw some lime, add salt and pepper on it. And if you have an eight, that will fill you up because avocado is fat anyhow. I don't want my stomach looks like it does, but I really don't care. I do, don't get me wrong, you guys. Okay, let me taste the, let me taste the dip. Mm, oh my God, guys. Mmm. That is to die for. Oh! Doug, you gonna like this avocado dip? I cooked. I cooked. I cooked. <laughs> I made your favorite avocado dip in here, and it is the bomb. Yeah, oh, Lord, you guys. Alrighty. So this is your finished product with the guacamole. Let me hold it back a little bit. Sorry, I've got a rag on the counter here. Going to wipe my counter. It's really good too, y'all. So, you know, 
Just watch all the steps that I've done and you'll have the best guacamole that you can put together and eat with like tacos or burritos or enchiladas or just to take out to a family get together. And it's really good. So, take a red spoon in there to look cute. And there's our uh, guacamole dip. This has been Robert's Country Cooking. And I hope that you uh, like what you saw tonight, the video, in the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please turn on your notifications on the little bell icon so you will get all notifications when I make a video next. And, uh, and that is, I would really appreciate that. Also make sure that if you haven't, you know, been looking at other videos, take a peek if you don't care. <laughs> but I just want to say God bless all of you and I really appreciate all your support, um, uh, fans and, you know, I thank, thank you a lot because I worked as hard as I can to bring you the best content that I can. You know, I started back in March, so give me a chance and I love all of you guys and I'll see you later with another video. May God bless you. Good night now.